Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and as of the recording of this video, it is March 1st, and Samsung just pushed off the latest software update for Samsung One UI 7. This is beta 4, but this is the second hotfix update. Now, the original beta 4 came out and was pushed out on February 13th. Then after February 13th, we had the first hotfix update, which was mostly for the visual voicemail as well as Google Play when it comes down to the tap and pay. That happened on February 21st, and here we are March 1st, but I think this update pushed out either one or two days ago, and this is the second hotfix. Now this hotfix here is to fix the issue of the refresh rate drops in certain situations. So when you are playing some games, watching some videos, scrolling, something may happen where the refresh rate is dropping. This basically fixes it. So a couple things that I'll look for in this update here is to see if maybe they fixed and changed the battery icon up there when it comes down to this beta because it is still pretty thick when you compare it versus what we have on the Galaxy S25 series. So this is, you know, the official Samsung One UI 7 over here. We're still in beta on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And we'll see if they add in Gemini to the side key button. So for this update here, the version ends with ZYBF. The size is 437 megabytes. We still have that February 1st security patch, which, you know, if this was pushed out on like February 27th or February 28th, you know, it should still also still be, you know, for February. But I will also take a look at the Google Play system update to see if there's a newer version there, because I believe this one's still sitting like on October. And we will also take a look at a few other applications and services just to see if there's anything else other than just the dropped frame rate when it comes down to the display. But as of this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel Jimmy's Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, and tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you send that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So the update is done and complete, and you can see here on the very top right-hand side, it's still a very thick battery icon, so they did not change it there. Also, if you go inside of our side key buttons over here, originally it was just the power off and Bixby. And one of the bigger features of Samsung One UI 7 is using Gemini with the side key and it's not added here. So this is beta four hotfix two and they still did not add in one of the biggest features of Samsung One UI 7 just yet. The main update here for this one through the change log was for that dropped frame rate. So, you know, if you ever ran into any issues of scrolling with, you know, either your doom scrolling, your, your reels or your TikToks or watching YouTubes or you're changing different applications or whatever you may be doing, if you're noticing a little bit of drop in frame rate, maybe you're doing some gameplay, uh, this update here should have fixed it. Also, what I do uh, want to take a look at is just a few applications and services. So how about we just take a look at the home screen to see if there's a newer version here. Uh, before the update, it was 160057. So it's the exact same version here. So no new version of Samsung One UI Home. We'll also take a look at camera to see if there's anything changed here. Uh, before the update, it was 150216. And it looks like the exact same version there. So no new version for the camera. And we'll also take a look at gallery as well. These are the three main ones that I kind of take a look at after some updates. Uh, before the update, it was 156019. And it looks like the exact same version there as well. So I don't see anything newer with any other applications there. Um, also, let's go and take a look inside of the Samsung Galaxy Store. Before this update, I updated all of the applications that was sitting there. We'll see if this one brings anything else to the mix. Looks like nothing there for the Samsung Store. Now let's take a look at the Google Play system update or the Google Play services because this one has always been stuck on October of 2024 and I feel like now should be a good time to get that thing updated. So we'll go inside of our about phone and we're taking a look at the software information here. You can still see that we are on that October 1st patch. We'll see if there's a newer version sitting here for us and it looks as if we are probably not going to get a newer version here. So why this one is still super late, I have no idea why, uh, but hopefully maybe with the next bigger main update when it's not a hot fix update. Maybe we'll get a newer version here for the Google Play system update. Um, and I'm not gonna go inside of the Samsung mobile security page because I've actually covered that about three times this month already. Uh, there was pretty much like one critical on Google. 
There was like 33 that was high. When it comes down to the Samsung side of things, of the uh, the vulnerabilities and exposures, there was seven that was fixed where four of them, we were able to read what was fixed on the back end of things when it comes down to what you can't see on the phone. So that was pretty much everything that I'm able to find here and pretty much everything I'm able to kind of take a look at. This one didn't really bring too much. This one right here is just Samsung One UI 7 Beta 4 Hotfix number two. The first hotfix was for the visual voicemail and tap to pay when it comes down to the Google Pay. This hotfix here is to fix the dropped frame rate when it happens on certain situations. Uh, and I don't really know when that happened. It could be gaming or doom scrolling or watching videos. So if we take a look at your software update, you can see we just did it on March 1st here. And it was to fix the issue of the refresh rate drops in certain situations. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh, 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 oh,